Good afternoon. <clears throat> All right, let's just break this down for a second. Two police officers lost the fight. You saw it on the district attorney's uh, breakdown of why they, well, the special uh, district attorney's breakdown on why this is happening, why they did not charge these officers. Two police officers lost the fight. Now, is losing a fight a reason enough for Rayshard Brooks to have lost his life? That's the question. You lost the fight. There are a hundred other tools at your disposal that you can use as a police officer to catch a suspect that's fleeing. They have helicopters. They have other police officers. They have K-9 units. They have cars. They have everything. That is their job to catch people who run. Rayshard Brooks had a taser that was spent. In his hand, he had a useless piece of plastic. The officer, they say, didn't know and he, it, he was moving too fast and in the heat of the moment, you can't tell what's going on. Well, in the heat of the moment, if you can't decide what's going on, you don't need to shoot someone in the back when they're 19 feet in front of you. This is what we already knew they were gonna say. They didn't say anything new. They didn't show us anything different. They showed us in detail that he won the fight. Okay, should he have been fighting with the police? Absolutely not. And like Chris said, at that time, if they had killed him, we wouldn't all be here today, but they didn't. He won the fight and he tried to get away. And they felt whatever way they felt, not even they, I'm sorry, Officer Raw felt whatever way Officer Raw felt and decided to shoot him in the back. Whatever else it is, whatever else happened before, he was shot in the back, 19 feet away. Now, we have seen over the last few years, uh, school shooters, mass shooters, people shooting up churches. Many of these people were taken into custody without incident. They definitely were not killed. So how is it that some of these people who shoot and kill many, many, many people can get taken in without incident? But Rashard Brooks, who beat up two police officers, which is bad, we all know that is bad, who is running down Metropolitan Avenue, uh, they went into his toxicology report. They said he had this in the system and that in the system and that in the system. And we'll talk about that in a second. But you have a guy who you're saying is drunk, he's on drugs, and he's running away from you. So you can't catch a drunk guy on drugs running down Metropolitan Avenue. You have to shoot him in the back. But people who kill 10 and 20 people, they can be taken in without incident. We all know this is ridiculous. Why are we letting them tell us that this is okay? Because it's not. Let's talk about the drugs. They went into detail at the very end about the drugs that were in his system, the drugs that were in his car. Why did they go into that? Because they wanted to sound like he was a hulking threat. He was a huge drugged up guy who beat them up and they had no choice but to kill him. That's not true. Here's the choice. Take your L, then use all the tools at your disposal to go find him, lock him up. Let the criminal justice process do its job. They didn't do that. A jury should decide this case. That's the bottom line. Not six people who we don't know who they are. They were asked a question earlier. Uh, were there any black people in this decision making process? Now, the answer to that question surprised me because not because I didn't know. I mean, because there were no black people, but because I didn't know who the other four people were. So. Were they a, a representative jury of Fulton County? Were they a jury of Officer Ross Pierce? A jury of people like Rayshard Brooks? Absolutely not. And when it's that close to call, right? We've been here for two years. They have been deciding if they're gonna prosecute this for two years. When it's that close to call, you let a jury decide. That's why we have a jury system in America. But today, we did not get a jury. We did not get a choice. The people of Fulton County didn't get to decide whether or not this was right or if this was wrong. And that in and of itself is wrong. When you have to break down a video by the millisecond, 
calling in ex experts to tell you what they see here and then a millisecond later this is what I think I see here and this is what they think they see there that is the precise reason you need a jury and a trial and that's why we have this system where you can go in and you can present your evidence and the other side can present their evidence and then a jury makes a decision as to what the truth is but in this case that didn't happen and we don't know exactly why that didn't happen um, you know, only thing, the only thing we can go on is what they said. And what they said is that they took all of the information they had and this is the decision they made. Respectfully, a jury should decide this case. Rashard Brooks was absolutely in the wrong. Absolutely in the wrong. He should not have been drinking. He should not have fought those police officers. None of that should have happened. He should have been, he should have been in jail. He should not be dead. I spoke to his wife today, his, his, his wife, they have lovely, beautiful young daughters. He has a son that's a little bit older. I spoke to her today and she was in tears. She could barely talk to me. And people will say, well, this man was on drugs and this man was drunk and th that doesn't matter. This woman lost a husband. These children lost a father and that's important. And I think sometimes we get into the millisecond of who did what, who took this, and not this family lost a father and they deserve a jury trial. The children deserve to be able to see it. The mother deserves to be able to see it. And now they won't have that choice. They won't have that chance. They were robbed of that chance and that's unfair. So we understand the process. We are lawyers, we do this every day. We understand the process. We respect Pete, we respect um, uh, Danny Porter, we respect um, Fonnie Willis, everyone involved in this situation. We know them, we respect them, they are good lawyers, we are not saying they are not. However, in this situation, I believe, we believe that they got it wrong because a Fulton County jury will not have the opportunity to hear this case. And that's a travesty of justice. Thank you.